Imagine, you are 10 years old, sitting in your grade three class, trying to focus on your teacher's math lesson. But all you can think about is not letting your ticks out. Your teacher's asking the class what three times seven is, but all you can focus on is holding in that whoop that's stuck in your throat and that intense urge you have to just stand up and spin on the spot. You're terrified, terrified, terrified of letting these ticks out because the last time that you did, your teacher sent you to the principal's office, your classmates made fun of you, and your friends didn't talk to you all day. All you want to do is just turn down the ticks. This is what it's like to be a child with Tourette's syndrome. Tourette's is a brain disorder that affects one in a hundred kids, and the symptoms are called tics. These are sudden, involuntary, and repetitive movements and sounds that can be incredibly invasive and sometimes even debilitating. We have three alternatives for kids with Tourette's. One, medications that carry massive risks. These are the medications we use for severe schizophrenia in adults, and we're giving these to seven-year-olds with Tourette's. Two, cognitive behavioral therapy can offer hope to adults, but is unfortunately not very effective with kids which leaves us with our last option, just letting these kids suffer through it. Now imagine being that parent, watching your child tick while you're trying to eat dinner, knowing there's not much, if anything, that you can do to help them. But recent advancements in brain imaging have allowed us to find the source of the problems in the brain in Tourette's syndrome. There is a region of the brain that is overactive and responsible for creating these tics, the supplementary motor area. So now that we've narrowed in on this potential treatment target that's creating these tics, what can we do about it? Well, here at the University of Calgary, we have this amazing new technology called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS for short, which uses a non-invasive magnetic field to modulate the activity in a specific region of interest in the brain. We are the only children's hospital in the world that uses robot-controlled TMS, and my research uses this innovative technology to target the supplementary motor area in children with Tourette's to help them gain more control and turn down the ticks. Wouldn't it be nice not only for kids who are suffering from Tourette's to get better, but also for people to understand that it's a brain problem. It's not something that they can control or something that they should be made fun of for. I've seen firsthand how these kids suffer, both physically and emotionally. And now, I've also seen the relief that these new technologies like our TMS robot can bring. My graduate studies have given me the amazing opportunity to witness firsthand how research can change lives. Children with Tourette's shouldn't have to fight their own bodies or suffer side effects of medications. And that is what my research aims to do. We are helping turn down the ticks so that these kids don't have to fight so hard, so that these kids can have their childhoods back. Thank you.